Good afternoon. Welcome to episode 833. And the topic today is, are you attracted by love, by security, or by loneliness? Let's talk, and I'll explain what that is and how that unfolds, because you might be curious to know how it is you're attracted and what draws you in, because you may want to choose differently after I've given you this information. Before I do all that, though, let me choose myself and these talks to know why I'm here and why I'm doing this. And my, why you may want to watch. My name is Barry Selby, in case you hadn't figured that out already. I am an inspirational speaker and love and relationships expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. I am a author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women, which I'll mention later on, and you can find the link in the comments afterwards. Um, I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which informs my work with women, and also what inspired these talks I do every day, called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Feminine Heart. These started actually two years ago. Uh, no, excuse me two and a half going on three years ago and today episode number 833 so the topic theme today is are you attracted by love or are you attracted by security or maybe attracted by loneliness and there's more but i just want to start with those three just to get the ball rolling so to speak so let's talk shall we and i'm asking you or inviting you to consider these for yourself because you might realize there's something you do differently based on what i offer We tend to think, as general people, that we're attracted to our next relationship, maybe by lust, by love, by chemistry, by looks, by something else. But oftentimes we're drawn into relationships because we're actually not willing to be alone. In fact, we're driven by loneliness into relationship. So what's happening is we're not so much seeking something as avoiding something. So we're looking to, and this is, I know, I'll jump right into this one, so, no no, no, no uh, safety net for this one. The question I'm going to invite you to look at if you look at your past relationships, maybe the one you're in now, but maybe not. Did you go into that relationship because you were basically lonely? Did you feel like you wanted to break the cycle and not be lonely anymore? And so you went looking for love, looking for relationship, looking for connection to fill the gap you thought you had. If that's the case then my invitation to you is to look at what it is that you think about loneliness. Now, I've done several talks over the years, over the years, about being lonely and what loneliness really is, and being alone is very different from that. But I wanted to speak to the idea of what drives you to attract relationship, because you might find yourself being tra- um, being driven, that's the right word, by something you don't really want to have drive you. So again, we like to think we're attracted by all the right reasons and we look for the right thing and we things happen and things are going great. However, for many of us, it's other subtle reasons that are actually driving our motivations, so to speak, or what motivates us. Yeah, they're both the same thing. Okay, let me play with it differently. So the second one I talk about is the one about security. Now, this is the one that a lot of people do use as their primary motivation for actually attracting a relationship because they want to feel secure. It's almost the flip side of loneliness. Because loneliness is driven from the thing you want to be away from. Security is something you want to be drawn to. Loneliness is where you don't really find yourself comfortable being on your own. And security is where you also don't want to be alone, so you want to be secure with somebody else. Sounds simple, doesn't it, basically? However, again, however, there's lots of caveats in this stuff, so bear with me. One of the things that happens if you're looking for security, is you might find yourself in a relationship where you are getting the piece of you, getting the part of you that you want that feels secure, meanwhile ignoring everything else you do want to have. Maybe adventure, connection, intimacy, play, great sex, um, all these other reasons for being in a relationship. But rather than focusing on the possibility of what you can have in a relationship, you focus on security because you want to be safe. And I understand that because a lot of people and I'm, I'm saying it's mostly women, but certainly men do the same thing, where they want to feel safe in a relationship because of a past painful experience in a past relationship. Maybe they're abused or hurt or dumped or ignored or other challenges in a relationship that they want to feel secure instead because they feel safer. Because safety is an important thing. I'm not saying don't look for safety. In fact, I recommend that you look for safety, but the right way. Again, what's your primary motivation? What's your primary um driver to have relationship if it's from a place of loneliness that is a place where you basically want to avoid loneliness to be 
with somebody just to avoid looking at that or dealing with that, that's one thing. If you want to be in a relationship because you want to be secure, because otherwise you don't feel as safe, that's also understandable. Both of these have their reasons. And should I speak to those? I guess I should. So let's start with the security safety one first. Again, I mentioned just now that you may have been experiencing past relationships where you didn't feel safe. Maybe you're either being felt like you're being violated or maybe you just didn't feel like you could trust the person. It could be anywhere in between that range. But having that experience can make you feel averse to finding somebody again unless you can feel really safe with them. So security could be a major driver, understandably so. But again, I offer some caveats on that. On the other side, again, with, the lo with loneliness, if you're drawn into a relationship from the place of feeling that you're um, not okay unless you're in a relationship, that being lonely is somehow bad, or I should say being alone is somehow bad, which is different from loneliness, I guess I need to break that one down, then that will drive you into a relationship. So let me explain that a bit more. Feeling lonely 90% of the time is driven because you don't feel comfortable being with yourself. Personally, and I've been through this journey for quite a while now, being alone, being single and being alone, not dating, not having sex, not doing that stuff, being alone with yourself is actually a powerful place to grow. When you're alone and you know who you are and you respect and you appreciate yourself and you love yourself, there is no loneliness anymore. Yes, you can decide to have a relationship, and I'm going to get to that in a moment, but you're not driven by this, I don't want to be alone because I don't, I don't want to be lonely, I want to go somewhere else. Understandable? So that's another piece. Another piece of the puzzle is this thinking that somehow you're not complete unless you're in a relationship. I've talked about this codependency stuff a few times, but that idea that maybe that you know, you're driven to a relationship because you want to feel whole because you're always feeling complete, is a false notion. It's a fake assumption. You are whole already. You are already complete already. You're already together already. There is no piece missing. So you don't. So feeling like somehow you're incomplete, and you've got to find someone to be completed by them, is a false a false idea, and it's a trap also because you make the other person so important that they're going to basically make you feel whole, feel complete, feel better, you're giving the power of your feelings. That's not good either. That's a codependency trap I've talked about many times before. So I want to make sure you understand that there are many drivers or um, motivations that keep pushing us into a relationship that aren't the one that is ideal. And as I said at the beginning, the one that's ideal is that you're drawn into a relationship because of love. You're meeting somebody because you feel the loving space, you want to add to that and include that with somebody else and you find an amazing relationship, everything goes great. But if there's any, sing if there's any um, sneaky symptoms of those other ones, be aware, be cautious and be willing to take care of those things by working on your own inner journey. And what I mean by that is, if you're dealing with stuff about not feeling safe, rather than avoiding being alone and rather than avoid feeling unsafe, it's time to look at what it is that triggers that feeling of lack of safety, that lack of insecurity. If you're dealing with stuff where you are willing to feel you're not feeling comfortable alone, get some support for that. Learn how to master and own your comfort with being with yourself. Because you're worthy of being alone in a good way. You work you deserve to value who you are. You deserve to feel comfortable in yourself, to feel confident in yourself, to feel supportive of yourself. And that place of incompletion, that sense of not being whole, is also an illusion. None of these three are real. They may feel real, but they're not. And when you get to work with somebody like myself who get coach you with this, to realign and understand those paradigms, then things move more quickly. Yes, there are examples of relationships where it may have started out as a need for security or a need to not feel alone or a feel, need, need to feel taken care of that worked out wonderfully in 20, 30, 20, 30 years. But I don't personally recommend that for, for my audience, for my clients, for my friends or myself. I'm, a, I'm of the belief, or I believe, to be more succinct, that relationships should be something that is sought from a place of love. It sounds simplistic to say that, but I believe it's the only place to do it, the right way. Because from love, everything else grows. From love, everything, from love, everything else expands. From love, everything is possible. But if you come from a place of needing security or feeling lonely, you want to feel unlonely, unlonely, 
feeling less lonely, then maybe you're doing it the wrong way. And I recommend some options for that. So as I mentioned, um, working with somebody who can help you, like myself, is a recommended step, recommended path, a recommended choice. However, choose carefully. There isn't a quick fix for this usually. It, works, it requires going deep into conversation, into your own psyche, your own personality, and your own belief systems to realign what's going on. That is kind of the work that will change your life completely. And if you've been doing relationships from a place of loneliness or security or incomplete lack of wholeness, maybe it's time to change. There's a, by the way, there's a bunch of other ones out there. I'm going to cover more here. This is just to give you a highlighted list, a Cliff Notes version of what might be driving you into a relationship. Again, ask yourself the question of what it is that drives you into a relationship or what is it that drives you away from something else into a relationship. What is it you're avoiding? What is it you're not facing? What is it you want to have if it's not based on love? See, my, my um, encouragement, my invitation is that you would find yourself looking for love for the right reasons and not in the wrong places. So it's bad old country song, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. What I'm intended to inform you or invite you to look at is how can you be in a place where you look for a relationship from a loving place in the right way, the right direction and the right result. I am to have some tools that will help you with that in my coaching and also in my programs. And I will put some links in the comments for you that will help you with some clarity, some next steps and some direction particularly for the ladies, and most of my stuff is designed for the ladies, but some stuff for the men as well. So there's a lot more about this conversation, and, uh, and again, having done, this is 833, 832 broadcasts before this, there's a lot of content I've shared and in, informed you about how you can have more healthy, authentic, joyful, fulfilling, and amazing relationships. This is just another piece of the puzzle. Yes, there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle, which is why there's some talks. I'd love you to get this point clear because if you're not getting this it's in the way of you having what you want which is why I'm inviting you to reach out to me so links up in the comments just so you have them so you can find them um, I'll throw the book in there because I mentioned that at the beginning so that's going to be in the comments as well I will put a link so you can have a conversation with me a direct um, scheduling so you can sit down and talk with me and have a proper private confidential and safe is that enough words? <laughs> <laughs> complimentary, complimentary clarity conversation with me that'll be in the comments so, uh, that's th two thirdly we're well, not in that order but I'll change the order because I, I talks about how you got to come from love to have an amazing relationship because this is my passion as you may have heard me talk about many times before to have that amazing relationship you and I'll say you must you are highly recommended I'll say it that way to learn how to love yourself first when we go out looking for a relationship out there because we don't think we love ourselves that's another one of the traps by the way that's not going to be healthy because again as I mentioned earlier you'll be seeking that fulfillment from that other person which means you're basically giving them the power over how you feel good or bad and you don't want that trust me you don't want that I've been there it doesn't work so I'll put in the comments my another piece which is my self-love guided meditation it's a piece that will help you realign and come back to yourself and honor and love yourself so when you're out in the world looking for a relationship you won't choose one unless it really fulfills the pieces you really want it's a choice but I'm encouraging you to look at it wisely and to take the choice and to embrace how loving yourself first is the first step to having healthy relationships. So put those three links in the comments. I have a couple other recommendations, but, uh, but I'll say this when you reach out and talk to me because that'll make the comments too dense, too much stuff. Um, I think that's it. Oh, replays, I'll tell you in a moment too. So I hope this made some sense to you. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I just want to sign off. If you, if you want to grok this more differently, get a better understanding, I'll help you with that. Get some clarity, direction, and focus and steps to take. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, in case you didn't know. I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby. Um, I also put the replays so you can watch all my archives, because why not? I don't want to throw them away. I have a business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. .org. You can watch the replays there. Please like my page. And more easily and more organized, because it's the way it works, I also have a channel on YouTube where I put all of these afterwards. Um, the channel is Barry Selby, my name, and you can please subscribe to my channel. There's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. So those links, you can go find my replays. Um, I'll put links in the comments, as I mentioned, for my book, for self-love, and for a chat with me. And I highly recommend you reach out and get support. If this is resonating for you and you're not feeling as clear as you'd like to be, 
get some help, take some steps, get clear on what you really want to get the help to get there. That's what I'm here for. So with that, I thank you for watching as always. I appreciate you being with me. I'll be back in tomorrow as always. Same time, same channel. And I invite you to please take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.